Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I am Char and y'all, this is like my hundred thousand time trying to uh, upload this video for you guys or try to get this video done. Um, mainly because it never came out the way I wanted to or I kept making changes and it's like, ugh, if I keep doing this then I'm not showing them genuinely what I have. But anyway, I posted one video and I just, it was in the middle of the night and I said, okay, I want to go ahead and get this concept out and let people know that this is something I'm a fan of. This is something that I do or that I am of interest is interest of. And that is um, the aesthetic concept, which is, you know, a severely admiring beauty or art or being stimulated by it, I guess. And I made it clear um, in that video and I'm saying it again, that this is not to replace God at all this is just an idea concept of a natural characteristic or trait you know some people are visual learners some people learn better by hearing some people have like this uh like photographic memory but anyway like for me colors styles prints um geometric geometrical shapes if i could talk right today they all help me to pay attention and zoom in and to admire and to appreciate so I kind of fell in love with Bible journaling for that very reason, because it was a lot to look at. It was a lot to admire and a lot to enjoy. So I'm going to show you my Bibles and what I've done to kind of um, grasp that concept or things I've done that are of interest to me. And obviously each and every person is different, but let me just go ahead and go into this so that this won't take too long because I got a feeling it's going to be at least 20 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, y'all know I got a lot of Bibles. This Bible was just sent to me recently and I already dolled it up. I done dressed it up. She's probably like, what? I made my little bookmarks. Y'all know the old school bookmarks. Um, not to say there's anything wrong with them, but I always were not the biggest fan of those. And I like paperclip bookmarks. So I've made a few of my own just to give a little, you know, jazz, a little style. So I'm showing you guys a close up. I also got these colorful decorative tabs. Um, they're called spring flowers. So if you look closely, they do resemble like close up of flowers and prints and things. But as you can see, this is a pretty bland Bible, which is not a problem because it's one is gray, which is like my second favorite color. And then two, you get to dress it up and you get to do your own thing. And it has um, somewhat of some margins in here. So you're able to like notate and write notes in here if you want. So the style of this Bible just screams creativity. Like I can add a sticker here or I can write whatever I want to do. So this is my first one. And I'm also thinking about getting a cover for it. So stay tuned for that. There is a Bible called um, Beautiful Word Bible. You can either get the one like this one where you color in yourself or they actually have one where it's already colored and you just, you know, you can write notes on the line. So... This Bible here, because at first I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about it, but then I tabbed it. And listen, that's one thing that just makes me want to just pick up my Bible and go is the idea of tabs. As you can see, these tabs are different um, colors and different shapes, and it just makes me want to pick the Bible and make me want to flip through the pages. So I get excited when I see all these beautiful colors and things. So that's one way you can kind of possess and dress your Bible up with the Bible tabs. Um, some people color on the sides. I'm not that creative, so I won't do that. But another thing, this cover was already kind of like, this looks like something somebody would have done to their Bible. Like they, um, wrote out the, um, scripture in like these different fonts and stuff. It got a little color to it. So this Bible would appeal to me because it is beautiful and it's interesting. Next, I have a Bible, um, for someone who said, you know what? I don't really want to color. I don't necessarily want to draw, maybe have a little space for margins of writing notes, or maybe you want your Bible to already kind of have a hint of, you know, decorative themes. This is the She Reads Truth. This was also sent to me as well. Um, each chapter has a different color scheme in the beginning and like this beautiful layout of the words and also has like this lettering art um, on the side for each book of the Bible. This one would be ideal for someone who says, I want a pretty Bible. I want a Bible to have like a touch of little girliness, but I'm not really creative like that. Or maybe you want to have space or opportunity for your notes. Like I said, this one 
does a pretty good job with having the margins for note taking or to do a little artwork or whatever you want to do. And it comes in different colors and, and shapes, shades, I'm sorry, on the outside. Like obviously this one is gray, um, but it comes, I believe in the hardcover comes in this color, off white and like this uh, coral color. And then of course you got the leather print and all that, but that's a pretty good one. Okay, so now let me show you another one. I'm trying to do it in order. This is the one that y'all know I brag about all the time. When I saw this Bible in the store, I was like, I have to get it. This is the NIV Holy Bible Journal Edition for girls. It is currently still being sold on christianbooks.com. Just type it in just as I said it. And this is one where at first I started out just putting notes in it, but then I just went ham. But that's not why we're here. I'm just going to show you that I pretty much made it beautiful and colorful and did a whole bunch of different arts and styles and techniques in here. This is one that is white paper with lines, little fainted dotted lines, and I just made it beautiful. <laughs> and this Bible appeals to me so much that I literally had to take it off my desk and put it away because I want to retire it. Not like permanently, but just enough to start creating another Bible because this Bible is getting pretty thick and pretty heavy. And you know what happens with that? The Bible st starts to wear and tear. And I do not want to wait till this Bible is completely ruined because then it'll be, okay, why even have it? Or you have to definitely put it away. I want to be able to still take it out and enjoy it, show it to my daughter when I want to but have just enough room to, you know, in case I want to dip back in here, but it's been months since I went back in here. I think the last time I touched it was like December, but this is a hard one to put down because it's beautiful on the inside and out. And like I said, the tabs also different shapes and colors, car stock, different patterns and stuff. Really beautiful, really pretty. So much so that I almost bought those tabs again. That's how much I like them. Okay. Here's a Bible that pretty much does all the hard work for you. The Inspire Bible, it does a good job appealing to the eye on the outside as well as on the inside. You know, on the inside, you can color or leave it plain. And you have lines for note taking. And then you have the option to color. I choose um, color pencils. Um, I, I was using gel pens, not in this one, but my other Inspire, but it bled through a little bit. So now I'm back to color pencils. But I did a little something, something here. I do take notes in here, but for the most part, this Bible is so gorgeous and pretty that I do not feel guilty just putting my notes in and just leaving the page without coloring it. That's how appealing it is to me. Even with the different patterns and styles on each page, I believe it's over 500 illustrations, plenty enough to keep you satisfied as far as coloring go. And then again, plenty enough to keep your eye going just to, you know, be of interest to you and just to keep your attention. Now, I would say this doesn't work for everyone. Um, my husband was like, this Bible is definitely too busy for him. But for me, it just, I'm like, ah, oh, what's that? But then it makes me want to stay on the page. So, and the Bible tabs, I did it myself. That again, like I said, for me, what appeals to me is definitely having a pretty Bible and making sure the tabs are also pretty and matchy. So, that's what it looks like close up. All right. Next, I have my Inspire Praise. This one, my friend, there's a war going on in my Bible community right now. And, and I mean me, myself, between a new fave and my old fave. Listen, I used to want to touch this Bible every single day. And don't get me wrong, it would never not be a favorite Bible. But... I've been keeping this to the side for the Jesus Bible. And y'all, and let me just show you the comparison right quick if I can. Let me get these Bibles out the way quietly, of course. I want to make too much of a fuss and gently because I love the word of God, right? But yeah, so first of all, they're like the same size, um, same thickness. Um, This one may be a tad bit smaller, but y'all... I just, it's crazy because it's like night and day. Like this one's a little more bland, but I'm learning to love it because of how, you know, I'm, I'm dressing it up. So I'm learning to love it. This one is already dressed up, which is a good thing. It's beautiful on the outside. It's my favorite color. It actually colored the size. That's something that the Inspire loves to do. And it, like I said, it makes you want to look at the Bible from top to bottom. 
And this one right here just appeals so much to me. And I've colored the inside. This is pretty much finished. I think I got a few pieces I want to come in. I'm just trying to find like different colors because I don't want none of my flowers to look alike. But this Bible here, I am going to notate and just color the art. Now, a lot of people, their Inspired Bible, they do artwork as well as, you know, stickers and all that stuff. I thought about it. It's still not completely ruled out, but I think I'm positively absolutely sure that my style for my Inspires is just to color the artwork and highlight and notate. And that's it. Um, mainly because I do not want to ruin them. I want them to last a long time. But again, in the future, who knows? Ain't no telling. These tabs I print and cut out myself. They are different colors and styles. If you see that really appealing to the eye and match the color that's on the side. Like I said, this is definitely top three Bible along with the Jesus Bible. And then I have the last inspire. If you want to talk about eye catching and appealing to you, check this out. This is like a watercolor theme has two ribbons. Now I ain't gonna lie. This pattern on the hardcover is actually on the side, which made me get the hardcover because one, I love gold, but I definitely love to see the colors in different arrays of watercolor style on the side. So that's what made me get me that one first. But then when I got it, I kept looking like, man, this one is gorgeous. And I can tell that it's gorgeous. And y'all, the picture does no justice. This Bible is so pretty. I have not even done anything in it yet. I did tab it. I made some DIY tabs to kind of match the little watercolors um, theme here. But this one also has different um, pages. It's a larger print, larger coloring options and styles and techniques you can do. It is wider, but who cares? Because this is a gorgeous Bible, has a transparent pages in it. This one and Inspire Praise have it. Really pretty, really gorgeous, really appealing to your eye. Y'all, I could sit here and flip through this Bible all day, no breaks, but that wouldn't be fair for you guys. <laughs> but I'm telling you, like, I just keep looking at it. I haven't done anything in it yet. I'm waiting for the right moment. And I've just been busy with my other Bibles. But yeah, that Bible's gorgeous, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can take a regular Bible and make it your own. Let's start with this one. This is the King James. I'm about to lose my sticker here. The King James Home and Study Bible. Y'all know this is a really bland Bible. I put my little, um, the thing for this Bible is sunflowers. I put my sunflowers on the front. I'll be honest with you, I may end up changing these because for some reason these aren't sticking like I want them to. But I'm also um, doing the inside sunflowers and I did sunflower Bible tabs. So that's what it looked like. So automatically I made this Bible go from bland to something of interest to me. Sunflower is one of my favorite flowers. I absolutely love them and this Bible kind of already... You know, the color of it was already kind of related. So I just added my sunflowers. Now, like I said, these, I don't know, they, they're they acting stubborn. I don't know what's going on with that. Might have to get something else. But these tabs was um, print and cut out on sunflower paper and then just shaped accordingly. The paper came from Hobby Lobby. I'll talk about that in another video. But pretty gorgeous. Pretty gorgeous. Like, I love the sunflowers. Like, you can do this yourself pick a color printed paper or flower out and just print your tab template on it and you can do the exact same thing. And again, this is a study Bible, but it is so gorgeous now. And my favorite study Bible, so yeah. Here is another option. I did DIY Bible tabs and I did wall stickers. The wall stickers came from Dollar Tree. You get like 30 of them for a dollar. I didn't obviously have to use all of them. I used enough. And they match with the coral and beige. This is the new King James Thomas Nelson full color study Bible. So it's already pretty on the inside. Like it's full color. It's not much room to do anything but highlight. But that's okay. And then I got this galaxy thing Bible tab. And I ain't gonna lie. I wrestled with, you know, putting these in here. Because I was like, they don't really go. But they kind of do because of the colors. But I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is a gorgeous Bible. Love it, love it, love it. And this is the one I got for a dollar. 
I make sure to keep saying that every video because y'all just be looking at these stores like Ross and TJ Maxx. You never know what you'll find. Here's another one where I decided to put the butterflies on. Actually, I put them on this one first. And this was my project Bible. This Bible, I said, you know what? I am going to recreate it. It was a plain black hardcover journal Bible, really plain. And I said, I want to recreate and I want to make beautiful. And that's what I did. I put the stickers on it. Voila. And I did the inside. Voila. <laughs> so at first it was going to be like garden theme or base where I'm only going to put flowers and animals and stuff. But that quickly went away. Um, I got a video on this page. So I won't stay there too long. I haven't done many pages in here. I was testing different styles of studying in here. I did a sticky note style in Exodus. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And I'm supposed to come back in here and study again. But I end up just doing some journaling art and stickers and cutouts and printables. Let's see if I can find another page that I did. That's just cutouts. I got, I put a sticker right here. Well, I'm not finished with this page. But as you see, these pages are real bland. So my whole thing was be, while I'm working on the inside, I want to make sure my outside is gorgeous and beautiful. And these are DIY Bible tabs. And I love these because one, it's like this cursive writing and they're uh, four different ones and they're cute. They're gorgeous. I love them. And they're not too busy where they don't really match because that's something that I'm always concerned about. They actually blend right on in with the butterflies. So I love that and I appreciate that. So absolutely love this Bible. One of my favorites. All right. This one is the next before last. This one I am doing because it looks like, like chocolate, like candy. So I put on the front donuts. The Lord is good. And I did DIY donut tabs. And the inside is going to be donut, uh, donut theme. I'm sorry. So as you can see, it has um, taste and see. And obviously the scripture continues that the Lord is good. But um this was fun. I actually got a video of doing this too, I believe. I don't know. I think I did. But anyway, this is a fairly new Bible. And I have some good news and I have some bad news. For anybody that's watching me, I honestly, truly believe this is my last journaling Bible that I'm going to purchase. This is not to say that I'm not going to receive gifts or anything like that. But this was a done deal for me. One is New King James. And y'all know that I've been looking for a New King James Bible. And I was praying so hard. And I done talked to God and say, look, if you help me to get this Bible, then I'm not going to buy the more journaling Bibles myself. But obviously, if someone blesses me, that's fine. But I'm pretty much done. My I feel like my stash is complete. My husband teaches from New King James. New King James is his favorite. So I just wanted that for when we're studying the Bible together and when he's preaching and teaching. So this is my donut tabs up close. Show you that. And yeah, this is probably going to end up being my next favorite Bible because one, I like donuts and I like what I did here. And like I said, this is so cute and gorgeous. Like that is so adorable. <laughs> and all of these are Dollar Tree stickers, you guys. But anyway, the last one is this completely made over Bible. This Bible is upside down. <laughs> this is the Good News Bible. As you can see, it's in pretty old shape and it's the today's English version. This is a Bible that was on our shelves in here that his father had left, his mom, uh, for us. And... I love the translation. It's so simple and so easy. It is not far-fetched. Absolutely love it. I had this paper to do tabs on it. And I saw a video because I was looking up DIY Bible tabs because, I mean, sorry, DIY Bible covers because Bible covers and stuff are pretty expensive, y'all. Like when you get a really cute made one, they're like $50, $60. And then the other ones are kind of not what you're looking for. So of course you want something a little custom. So I love this color paper completely anesthetic i said okay i'm gonna try it. i watched this video with this girl she kind of rebound her bible with a uh, construction paper like this and i said i can do that and i did like it's so easy and so inexpensive all you need is clear tape to laminate the paper or print of choice and you need to just measure it out and cut it plain and simple then i ordered these tabs these tabs were actually ordered for 
this Bible. Before I had the idea about the donuts, I was like, okay, I'm going to put them in here. But then this paper is so kind of like glossy or something. It wasn't sticking. And these are car stock lights. So they kept popping open. I'm like, God, what am I going to do? Even with putting glue stick on it. So I said, all right, I do want to tab this Bible. Let me just see how it works. And it matched with this perfectly because these are different patterns and prints as well, as you can see. So absolutely love that. It came out beautiful. Again, learning to love this Bible and possibly like one of my favorite regular Bibles to read because it's so easy to read. So I just made the Bible over and you can do it too. Like it's really simple. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, technically speaking, like I said, I do have some few mini Bibles, but I say that for another video, but yeah, aesthetic, you know, you're the type of person that colors, styles, patterns, different animals and stuff, you know, it instantly excites you or you automatically appreciate it a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with you. You are perfectly fine. You can either create a Bible that's right for you or there's one out there on the market. Just take your time and look. I absolutely love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.